Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. And this must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that. It provides you with extra presence in attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. And we're underway. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Tries to get it forward quickly. Msakni. Here it is, and the finish! Superb goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Well, when the game's played like that, it's made to look very simple. You know, I love watching football like this. Easy, effective, one-two and bang. Thanks very much. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Across the field it goes. Hoists it forward. Right through the middle. That's a decent ball. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Msakni did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Msakni.
good challenge. He just stood firm. And it's played forward. Oh, some tackle that. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Plays it out to the flank. Played back in. He's gone for it! And in it goes! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! With time and space aplenty, he was never going to miss. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Forward it goes. Good progress, he goes for goal! Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. He gets! Oh, just couldn't turn it in. Oh, this was all about good movement in the box just to allow him to get to it. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there. And we've reached half-time. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals, and two between them at half-time. That gets things going for the second half. Musakni. Hoists it forward. Either side really getting hold of the ball. Plays it out to the wing. Umsatni tries a shot! They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel.
three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. And he's going long, and it's got through. And he's onside! And he's cut it out. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's played forward. Going through. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. That's off target. He trapped it expertly, Peter, and released it very differently. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Played out to the right. Oh, that is lovely footwork. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. He's in! <laughs> lovely bit of skill there. Over to the left. Beautifully done. Gets wrestled off the ball. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. He's had a shot! And yes, it's there! Surely now they are well and truly out of sight. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. This is one of the best performances I've seen in a while. He's practically taken on this team single-handedly, and they don't know how to stop him. Things looking so easy, almost too easy here. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Looking to go for goal! Good take by the keeper, he's read that well.
forward it goes. He's played him through. Trout calling for him to shoot. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Has a pop! Oh, denied at the last. And it's been taken short. There are a few waiting for it. Shot a goal! Keeper always had the measure of that. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honour shift. Looking for a decent ball in. And he's there to clear it. And that is that. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time. Amazing.